Hi everyone, this is Cece and thanks for joining me for another Donna Downey Studios Art is Gang project. I'm about to do an abstract painting and I'll be working on a 24 inches by 36 inches canvas and here's how you prepare for it. Make sure you got big brushes and a nice cold smoothie. Ready! This is a repurposed canvas. I didn't like what was underneath so I covered that up with gesso and you can see some of the color shining through but it won't matter in the end. It'll get all covered up. I'm adding text paper with matte soft gel medium and I make sure that I'm doing a very patchy job because once everything is dry I want to be able to pull at the paper to have some of it uh, come off like you're seeing me doing now. And that gives me that nice shabby look that I was going for. And now I'm ready for my first wash. This is thinned down gesso with water. I wanted to lose that yellow tint to the paper, but still see some of the text peeking through. And here's what it looks like once uh, I've added several coats of wash. And I'm going to be doing some random rectangles of different sizes here and there, varying the location and the orientation. To start off, I have used Titan Buff. Then I'm going to move to a neutral gray. This is number five neutral gray. And I'll be also adding some with Chronacridone Nickel Azo Gold. I wanted my background to be quite chaotic because I wanted to finish off with something very soothing. And you'll understand why when I add the quote at the end. I'm going to add some stenciling with the Scribble script by Donna Downey Studios and some neutral gray paint. And I'm painting the last rectangles with Chronacridone Nickel Azel Bolt. And I'm also using the Grunge Halftone Dots stencil by Donna Downey Studios to create uh, little circles and dots with the Chronacridone Nickel Azel Gold paint as well as the uh, neutral gray. And I've made my own spray using titanium white fluid acrylic and airbrush medium. And by using a piece of chipboard and spraying kind of like on uh, more on the chipboard than on the canvas I'm able to achieve a very crisp line and then I'll spray with water and that will create my root system for the lotus flowers that I'll be adding in the end and because I, I did not want that to be uh, the main focus I'm doing another wash this time with titanium white and some water and that will tone everything down so the roots will be there but they won't be the star of the show. Alright two things I need to mention here when you're doing that kind of work, make sure that you protect your floors by uh, adding some kind of plastic and some cloth over it because the drippage will ruin your floor. And I also apologize for the unsightly appearance of my studio light to the right because this is a different setup in a different room. So I do apologize for that. Right, so now I'm adding the very abstract lily pads to my canvas. For this, I'm using a palette knife and some green gold high viscosity paint. And I'm not sure if you can see the gold dots over the first lily pads, but this was added with iridescent deep gold fine fluid acrylic paint because I'll be framing this canvas with a gold frame. And by the way, this is a gallery thick uh, canvas, so this will have a very modern frame around it. You'll be able to find the full list of supplies that I'm using on Donna Downey's blog post as well as mine and all the links will be down below if you're watching directly on YouTube. This is the Find Your Balance stencil by Donna Downey's Studios and I'm adding a very very thick coat of modeling paste through it. This is my first lotus flower and I'm going to be doing two more. And of course I let that dry overnight and I'm going to be painting that in with heavy body white paint, titanium white, and some quinacridone nickel azel gold in alizarin crimson hue. Now all of this is done while the white paint is still wet. So this is wet on wet and I'm just using flicking motions uh, to blend everything in. And I make sure that I'm not over blending it. And the final detail is the Find Your Balance quote. I'm adding that in neutral gray because I didn't want to add it in black. It would have stood out way too much. And 
yep, <laughs> it's a cooking spatula. I didn't have a big spatula, like a painting spatula. I need to invest in one because this was kind of working, but not. It was very difficult because it has some ridges in the middle. So uh, I needed to tone down some of those lily pads. The green was just way too much. So I'm going to be adding touches of white with the heavy body titanium white paint. And here it is done. You can see some more of those gold dots around the first uh, lotus flower. And now my big 2x3 canvas is done and I have gorgeous lotus flowers that I didn't have to draw because I used a stencil. That certainly made my life a lot easier. The rest was just touches of abstract painting with a cooking spatula. <laughs> So don't be afraid to work on a big surface. There are lots of tools out there to help you out on this. And before you know it, you'll have gorgeous canvases that you'll be proud to display on your walls. So I hope that you've enjoyed this process and that it inspired you to create your very own big canvas. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as our Facebook group. The Artist Gang has six gang members and we post every week. As usual, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And I will see you later. Bye.